And we have the results for the five-year-old cow class for the International Guernsey Show. Our junior first place winner, entry 287, Wrightstock Blue Spruce Ellen, Skylar Plucker, Chancellor, South Dakota. Our third place finisher and winner of our production award, Mil Milbourne Hill Points Fiesta, P. Maury Miller, M. Helenbrand, and Peter Vale, Granby, Connecticut. Our second place finisher and bread and owned award winner, Levon Farms Regency Adore, John and Bonnie Ayers and Todd Moore, Mechanicsburg, Ohio. And our overall winner, as well as our best utter award winner, Lance Farm Preppy Indy, Melinda Rushing, Perkins, Oklahoma. Congratulations. <laughs> Judge Banky, tell us more, please. I'm glad to hear that she's a crowd favorite because she's my favorite too. Just a beautiful, utter, great, balanced dairy cow to win the class. She has an advantage over the cow in second in youthfulness of mammary, height and width at the point of rear utter attachment, and just the ease of which she moves around the ring today. Not to take anything away from the beautiful dairy frame of the cow in second. She's clean boned and angular. She's got that great open rib that I love to see. She's smooth in her fore utter, and she uses her advantage and mammary system to place over the massive cow that's in third. She's tighter and snugger in her fore utter, more desirable in her teat size and shape than the big cow that is third. You gotta admire this big cow for her size and scale and length and frame. She put a lot of milk through that udder and has tremendous height and width to her rear udder. She has an advantage in frame today over the little cow that comes next in line, but this little cow has a really, really good udder. She's blended extremely well in the fore udder. She's got uniform width up the top to the top of her rear udder today, and she uses her advantage in teat placement to go over the bigger cow that's next in line. I do admire this fifth cow for the great width to her rump and width to her udder, just not quite the teat placement I need to move her up into that fourth spot. But she does have an advantage in strength of udder attachments today to go over the just recently fresh cow that comes sixth. But a beautiful cow to win the class. Congratulations. Let's give them another nice round of applause. <laughs> 